this is a third grade math lesson. The content objective is for students to be able to identify the appropriate tool to measure the length of an object, the volume of a liquid, and the temperature. Okay, so hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about different types of measurement and the tools that we need to measure things. Um, so our first type of measurement is length. Length is how long something is from one end to the other. So if I want to know how tall I am or how long our desks are, that is length. We need to measure the length. So we have different units of measurement. A unit is a fixed size used for measuring. Okay. So our units for length are inch, foot, and yard. Now, I'll be honest, those are not the only units of measurement of length in the world, okay? But today we're gonna focus on the main ones that you guys are gonna be using a lot and seeing a lot this year, okay? So our smallest, our smallest unit of measurement for length is an inch. An inch is about the size of a paper clip. Okay, another little trick, um, an inch is about the size from this knuckle to this knuckle is about an inch. So you can use that um, as an estimation. Okay, and then we have a foot. A foot is the size of your standard ruler. The rulers that you guys all have, um, 12 inches is a foot. So a foot is one ruler. And then next we have a yard. A yard is three rulers put together. Three feet put together is a yard, okay? And it's about the width of a door frame is a yard. So our next type of measurement is liquid volume. Sometimes you will see it called capacity. Um, the liquid volume is the amount of space liquid takes up. And so if we have a cup, if you have your water bottle and you have water in it and you wanna know how much water you have in your bottle, that's what, why we would need to find the liquid volume. Um, so our units of measurement, we have millimeter. A millimeter is about one dropper full. So if you've ever taken medicine with a dropper, it's about one milliliter. And then we have cups. A cup is about the size of your standard small coffee cup. So something kind of like this is about a cup. Then we have liters. A liter is the size of a plastic vinegar bottle. That was one of the things that I found in my house that was a, about a liter, a bottle like this. Next we have um, gallons. Gallon is those big plastic milk jugs that look kind of like that. That is a gallon. Sometimes um, we might buy a gallon of water. So those are our basic units of measurement for vo liquid volume. And lastly, today we have temperature. Temperature is the measure of how hot or cold something is. So if I wanna know what the weather's like outside and figure out if I need to wear a jacket or not, I would need to find the temperature. Or if I wanna know if I have fever, if I'm sick, I would need to check my temperature. Um, temperature, the unit of measurement for temperature is degrees. And in America, usually you're gonna see degrees Fahrenheit, okay? So now we have, now that we know all of our different units of measurement and different objects um, that are the different units of measurement, we are gonna figure out what tools we could use to measure these different things. Okay, so in order to do that, I would need my magic toolbox. So I have my toolbox and we are gonna pull out some tools and see where they go on our chart. First, we have a beaker, okay? It looks, it's glass beaker, and this one is, um, is marked with milliliters. 
So let's see, where would we put that? We would put that over here by our milliliters. It's a little bit on the smaller side. A lot of times you'll use these in science class. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our chart, our beaker. Let's see what we have next. Okay, next we have a thermometer. A thermometer, so where do we need to put this? We are gonna put this under temperature. Now this picture of a thermometer is the kind of thermometer you might see outside posted somewhere or maybe in your pool to check the temperature. But um, there's also different kind of thermometers. There's the one that you would put in your mouth to check your temperature. Next we have a measuring tape. This would be a tool to measure length. It would be more on the bigger side. So if we want to measure how tall we are or how long a door is, we could use a measuring tape. And I actually have one here. A measuring tape. Pretty cool. They stay nice and stiff, so you can check how tall you are. You can measure your desk. Oh, okay, let's see what we have next. Next, we have, okay, here, this is a, a different type of measuring tape. It's a soft measuring tape. This is useful if you wanna measure around something. So we'll put this one on our chart, more on the bigger end. Next we have a graduated, graduated cylinder. This is something, another thing you will often see in science class. It's kind of like a beaker, but it's a little bit more tall and narrow and it's good for measuring small amounts of liquid. Next we have a dropper. This was one of the examples on our chart. So this one, holds exactly one milliliter. So sometimes if you're gonna take some medicine, you might need to do half a milliliter. So this would be a time when you can use a dropper. Now we have, this is a yardstick. I've printed a picture of a yardstick next to a little girl so you guys can see that it's bigger than a regular ruler. A yardstick would be, you can measure anything that's like one yard or less with the yardstick. Okay. Next we have a measuring cup. A measuring cup would be good to measure anything that's about a cup or less. Often we use it when we cook. I actually got one today. This is a contactless thermometer. So we've been seeing a lot of these lately. You just put it close to your forehead and it will tell you your temperature. Another type of thermometer to measure temperature. Let's see what's next in the toolbox. We have a ruler, a foot ruler. So we know we can use a ruler to measure length Anything that is one foot or less, we can use a ruler for. Okay, and last but not least, I have a big measuring bucket. So this is just like a big bucket, like you would put a mop in, but it has lines for measuring. So if you wanna measure something bigger like gallons or liters, you can use a bucket like this. Okay. So my toolbox is empty. We have lots of ideas for different tools that we can use to measure 
all these different things and find length, liquid volume, or temperature. Okay. So now, now that we learned all of this, we are going to play a little game. All right, so my game is called, What Do They Need? We're gonna talk, we're gonna answer some questions and figure out what tool we need to solve them, okay? So, First we have, number one, we have Alexis wants to know how long her desk is. So, what do they need? All right, so to measure a desk, we could use a ruler, but I think most desks are a little bit longer than a foot. So I'm gonna go with, now there can be more than one answer, but for me, the best choice would be A yardstick. We know that your desks are more than a foot, but not longer than the door. So yardstick would be a really good choice to measure your desk. Okay, next one. KJ needs to measure half a cup of milk for his cake batter. Okay, so let's see, what do they need? I'm gonna go with a measuring cup. A measuring cup fits about a cup. It's easy, we can pour. If we need half a cup, it's clearly labeled and we can just pour it right in to make our cake batter. All right, next question. Imani's mom needs to make sure Imani does not have a fever before going back to school. So we need to check her temperature. So what tool do we need? What do they need? Thermometer. Thermometer would be the tool to check our temperature. All right, next question. Quinn wants to know how tall his dad is. What do they need to check how tall your dad is? We can use, now there's more than one right answer. We could use a yardstick, but a yardstick is three feet. Most dads are taller than three feet, so that wouldn't quite work unless we were gonna double it up or have more than one yardstick. So we have to think what the best choice would be. I'm gonna go with a tape measure. All right, tape measure would be the best choice for me if, I want, if Quinn wants to measure his dad. And Miss Parker needs 10 milliliters of vinegar for the experiment. What does she need? 10 milliliters. Hmm. A dropper wouldn't work because a dropper only holds one milliliter. And we don't need anything too big. So I'm going to go with a graduated cylinder. All right, so we have, we measured the length of the desk with the yardstick. We measured the liquid volume of his milk with the measuring cup. We measured Imani's temperature with the thermometer. We measured Quinn's dad. We measured his length with a tape measure. And we measured Mrs. Parker's vinegar. We measured the liquid volume of the vinegar with a graduated cylinder. All right, so now that we know all about our different measurement tools, we are gonna go into groups and practice measuring some stuff. All right, thank you.